guys! I've just started teaching Nico a new trick, and the trick is for him to balance different treats and objects on his nose. Um, so I thought I would make this video and show you my technique. Okay, so I have Nico with me here, and I first started training him by just using my hand and putting it on his nose like that. And I would do this over and over again. And you can see that he's kind of annoyed by it. And he tries to move his head. So I would just do this over and over until it got really boring for him. And he didn't care if I put my hand on top of his nose. Now my theory behind this is that um, once I do this enough, he, he really gets used to um, something coming at him and touching him in this area. Um and he would start to ignore it because he's so used to it. He's very used to the sensation by now because I keep doing it to him. Um, so once you see that your dog doesn't really care if you put your hand on his nose, you can leave it there for a couple seconds and then praise him for it. Good boy, Nico. Good job. Good boy, Nico. Isn't he so cute? He's so cute. So in my next step, I start to introduce treats, like this one in my, leave it, this one in my hand. Um, it'd be good if your dog already knows the leave it command, which means that he does not eat the treat um, until he's told. Uh, so Nico right now knows that I said leave it, that means he should not be eating this treat. Um, so I don't just start off putting it right on his nose and hoping that he would balance it. Um, I would hold the treat up close to his nose so that he doesn't feel like eating it. Um, well, he feels like eating it, but he's trying to hold himself back because I've given him the command to leave it. And this is something um, very simple to train for a dog. You see, he's completely looking away. He doesn't even want to be tempted by this thing. And so I can start to move it, um, do the same thing, have the treat touch his nose, and move it away until he gets pretty bored of this and he knows that I'm not going to give him the treat. Uh, this was hard with Nico because he's been taught other tricks before where he's supposed to touch his nose or do something similar so at first he did a lot of pawing with me um, but soon I started to reward him for not using his paws and he kind of understood what to do. Hi Guinness! So, you know, after I can do this a few times without Nico really reacting at all, um, I can start to try b having him balance this small treat on his nose. So, Nico, leave it. Wait. So um, when Nico's balancing it for a couple seconds and he's doing well, I give him a treat. If he drops the, the thing on his nose, then he doesn't get a treat. So he starts to understand that he's supposed to stay very still and try not to have the thing fall off. So he's doing good, so I'm going to give him a treat, and I'm going to take this other one back. Um, and then you can... Once your dog understands what is going on, you can start associating a word with this balance trick. I just put it on Nico's nose and tell him to wait. So this trick is still quite new to Nico, and I'm using different small objects with him now. Um, for example, this little plastic thing, it's like a little whistle toy that you can um, blow on. And It's actually really loud. Um, there's four different notes. It's pretty cool. Uh, another object I had lying around is this. Uh, it's a poker chip from Mohegan Sun. And it's just about the right weight and size that I want to use right now. So just these little things that I'm finding around the house and trying to get him used to different objects, having him balance them on his nose. My dogs are being really loud because they're playing right now. Maybe I, sh I should show you that because it's cool to watch. Hey, 
did they just get shy? What happened? What happened, boys? Alright, never mind. No more playing.